Peggy 3. All right, guys, so today Milestone just released the first gameplay of MXGP 2020. And it's kind of weird. I want to say this first. Basically, if you want to see this gameplay, you have to join their Discord. And you get 24 hours early access to the first gameplay. I'm pretty sure that's what they were saying, but... Or not but, but if you... So if, if you're not a part of the Discord, you can see this. You would have seen this on their normal social media, like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, probably tomorrow. So pretty sure that's what they were saying, but you know, whatever, it's cool. I'm glad we we get to see some actual gameplay. Uh, pretty significant gameplay. It's like uh, three and a half minutes of gameplay here, and it is a work in progress. They always say that, so it is subject to change a bit, but normally when we see this stuff it, it, it pretty much is the same way it is here as it is in the the final product uh, maybe a bit of polish here and there but for the most part it's gonna be like this so overall the first thing I noticed is that the it, it feels okay MXGP 2019 I felt like I felt as if it was a very flat game it didn't feel like you ever got any air underneath the bike and here it feels a bit closer to Supercross 3 probably. I mean, I haven't played it. It's just speculation, but it does appear to be more floaty than MXGP 2019. So I feel like that's a positive um, over 2019. I felt like 2019 was just so flat. I didn't, it was such a flat game. It's like you couldn't, <laughs> sometimes it felt like you couldn't even clear some of the basic jumps that you should be hitting on the track so I feel like that probably is an improvement the bike sounds are you know similar to how they usually are but where I feel like the game feels different I mean it probably will feel similar to Supercross 3 I just don't feel like they completely revamped from Supercross 3 you know I feel like Supercross uh, will be heavily reflected in this game but changed a bit because it is an outdoor game. Um, the one thing that bothered me a bit is that I did feel like the the back tire, I mean, it's the perspective of the camera. So I feel like whoever's playing here, the, the camera angle is, is probably a bit close. I generally like having the camera a bit farther back, but that's just personal preference. Um, but here in this camera angle, it feels like the back tire, just the back of the bike, it feels kind of big. Okay, so think Ride 4, all right? Ride 4. I felt like Ride 4, the bikes, the supermoto bikes, it reminds me a lot of that. So I don't know if that's the direction they're trying to go for their third person camera or, or what, but um, after watching it for a bit longer here, I don't notice it as much, but I don't know. That was one of my first impressions that I saw is I felt like the camera angle was a bit weird. Um, the other thing I guess that goes with the camera angle is I did feel like the, the camera gets a bit shaky in, in a weird way, not just like from riding or when you case something. It just, there's a few, a few hiccups in here where the camera shakes and gets a bit out of whack. And that probably will get cleaned up before the game actually uh, actually comes out. But I just thought it was worth mentioning that that was kind of odd. And, and by, by no means do I feel like it's going to be a bad game. I have no idea. I haven't played it. And I know with Supercross 3, I felt like when I first saw that game, I felt like it didn't look like it was going to be as fun as it actually is. I know some people didn't like it and will disagree with that, but in my opinion, I felt like Supercross 3 didn't look very good. But then the more I played it, and then when the game finally came out, <clears throat> excuse me, it was way better than I was expecting. So this game could very well be the same way. This game could be super, super, super fun and look a bit better when it comes out. And I could be completely wrong, 
like I was with Supercross 3. So that is a very, a very strong possibility. Another thing that was kind of weird is that um, you saw it a couple times around this track, but the player bumped into the AI a bit, and the rider, it was like weird. He kind of like straightened out and then hunched back over. It was, it was just like, it was just kind of a weird animation. It reminded me a lot of Ride, or Ride 4, I guess. So I feel like this game has borrowed a tiny bit from Ride. I mean, it can't borrow the physics, but it feels like it's borrowed a few things from Ride. And I'm hoping that it doesn't take too much because I don't I don't really want too much from Ride in MXGP, the, the graphics editor for sure, but some of that other stuff that I was mentioning, it just it feels a bit weird. But like I said, haven't played it. It could be completely insanely awesome. It's just uh, first impressions from seeing some first gameplay here. I would enjoy or like to see the camera angle a bit farther back. And if they do show some first person, hopefully they can pull that camera back a bit. I know some of you guys said it was really good, but I prefer to see a bit more of the bike. So I feel like Supercross 2 and 3, I felt like the camera angle wasn't, it wasn't my cup of tea for first person. But I don't really play a ton in first person anyway, so I guess it it really doesn't matter to me. But uh, I, I would like to see some third person with the camera pulled back a bit farther. Obviously, we want to see some track editor, but uh, yeah, overall, I feel like it doesn't, I mean, it, it's kind of what I was expecting, you know? Graphically, it feels pretty similar to 2019. And physics-wise, just checking it out, it kind of reminds you of a cross between Supercross 3, MXGP 2019, and then, well, not really the physics, but a tiny, tiny bit, <coughs> excuse me, a tiny, tiny bit of Ride 4. So. That's kind of what I'm thinking, I guess. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it. What are you, what are you, what are you feeling? What are you feeling? Feeling good about it? Feeling bad about it? Excited? Not excited? What are you, what are you thinking? What do you feel like the game resembles the most? But cool to see it this early. Well, I guess not super early, but you know, cool to see it early. But what I'm really looking forward to is the track editor. We need to see some track editor gameplay. See the new features on that. I mean, they're not going to give away everything, but, you know, see see a bit, a tiny bit. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.